In today's video, we are going to talk about raising a rabbit as a pet. Rabbits are lovely pets to have. However, it does take a lot of work to take care of a rabbit. Like all pets, rabbits need a clean, healthy environment and the right kind of food in order to thrive. Rabbits are very active and playful animals that are also very social, they will form a close bond with other rabbits and even with people. The ideal owner for a pet rabbit is an individual or family with the time and space to dedicate to an active pet that enjoys cuddling and playing and requires a bit of maintenance. Whether it involves daily interaction with owners or other rabbits, these animals require a lot of interaction. Rabbits make wonderful indoor pets. They are adorable and brimming with personality. But before you swoop into the shelter and pick out a cutie, there are a few things you should know to ensure a rabbit is right for you and your family. Purchasing your rabbit. The association between rabbits and Easter means rabbits are often impulsively acquired as pets around the Easter holiday. Unfortunately, many of these bunnies end up neglected or given up for adoption since those cute little bunnies grow up into rabbits that need as much attention and care as a dog. Avoid the impulse to get a bunny for Easter. The best option is to adopt a rabbit from a nearby shelter or rescue. There are many wonderful pet rabbits who need a second chance at finding a forever home. Don't worry about the age of an older rabbit, you can quickly get a good sense of an older rabbit's personality, and they will often bond with new owners even quicker than a younger rabbit. Rabbits can live for 5 to 12 years. This may be the most important thing to know when it comes to rabbits since they require a sizable degree of daily and weekly care over the course of their lives. Given how long they live, it's a good bit of work that's more than just feeding and picking up after their poop. It's an especially big commitment if a rabbit is given to a child as a pet. Rabbit behavior and temperament. Rabbits are social, and with gentle handling, are generally quite tame, playful, and entertaining to watch. Rabbits often form very close bonds with their owners, many rabbit owners spend evenings watching TV with their rabbits by their sides or interacting with their pet. Rabbits also have the great advantage of responding well to litter training. They also do well with clicker training and can be trained to do special behaviors and tricks. All of these qualities mean that rabbits do require a great deal of interaction with their owners and other rabbits. Daily playtime and exercise outside of their cage is a necessity. They do need to chew, so lots of safe chew toys should be provided, and any spaces where the rabbit is allowed to run must be carefully rabbit-proofed. While they are generally quiet pets, rabbits are not a good match for active young children who may not be careful enough when picking them up or playing around them. While rabbits like to be near their people, it's also important to know that they often would rather not be held. Handling your rabbit. Rabbits make great pets for children. However, they are fragile and young children should not handle them. They can accidentally cause injury picking the rabbit, by squeezing too tightly, or dropping them. Children should always be supervised when interacting with and, in the case of older children, handling rabbits. Rabbits must be handled appropriately so they do not scratch or bite and so they can develop a positive relationship with humans. Handle rabbits regularly, especially when they are young. Sit while you are handling a rabbit so the rabbit can't fall. Rabbits should be picked up with two hands. Hold them close to the chest or on your lap so they can rest their feet and feel secure. Rabbits like being with other rabbits. Rabbits are social species and prefer to live in groups. If you decide to own a rabbit, always have at least two rabbits. However, if you don't have the room or time, or money to keep two rabbits you will need to become your rabbit's companion. This means that if you are away for long periods, you will need to provide your rabbit with enrichment activities and toys to keep them occupied and prevent them from becoming lonely or suffering from stress. Rabbits are social animals that rely on one another to survive in the wild. A rabbit by itself must be alert at all times for potential predators, but if there's another rabbit about, that spreads the responsibility around. And since rabbits only speak rabbit, it helps them feel immensely safer if there's another rabbit about. Related to this, spaying and neutering your rabbit is a good call if you're going to have two rabbits, but it's generally smart even if you're going to stick to one rabbit. If you have two or more rabbits it is important to avoid unwanted pregnancies. Separate males and females into different pens or have your veterinarian desex them. Males will be less likely to fight each other if introduced at a young age. Females and males can be prone to fighting amongst each other so make sure you help new rabbits get used to each other in a supervised environment or through a mesh fence before they cohabit. Housing your rabbit. Rabbits require a hutch to live in that is safe from predators, such as dogs and cats. It needs an area that protects them from the weather and has enough space for exercise. A suitable hutch design is waterproof and includes a dark, dry area for the rabbits to rest which has a bedding of soft hay. The other section of the hutch should be light and large enough to allow for a separate exercise and toileting area. The hutch must be well ventilated. 
It is best to have a hutch made out of wood as metal hutches heat up more quickly. Rabbits should not be placed in pens or hutches with wire floors, it is bad for their feet. It is okay for part of the pen to be made of wire as long as your rabbit has an area where they can stand on solid ground. Many two-story hutches provide this option. Your hutch needs to be at least three hops long, approximately four times the length of your bunny when stretched out, and twice as wide as your bunny. Anything smaller and your bunny will be too cramped. If you buy a juvenile bunny, remember they will grow. It is important to clean the hutch at least every second day by removing soiled bedding and make sure rabbits have a dry area to sleep. Rabbits that do not have clean bedding can suffer from respiratory infections, skin ailments, and pest infestations such as fleas and mites. Rabbits are capable of being toilet trained. There is plenty of information online about toilet training rabbits. Rabbits should spend most of their time indoors or equal time indoors and outdoors. When your rabbit is indoors it should have at least some time each day to roam free. You may wish to set up a room or two rooms where your rabbit can roam free and interact with the family. Remember, that rabbits like to chew on things, so if leaving your rabbit free to roam unsupervised, you may come home to some chewed skirting boards, cables, or chair legs. Rabbit urine can have a strong odor so expect to change the litter box frequently, spaying and neutering can help reduce the odor. In addition, rabbit urine is high in calcium, so when it dries, it can leave a chalky residue that can be hard to clean. Vinegar is usually effective for removal. Many pet rabbits are allowed to roam around the house when their owners are around. If you do choose to allow this freedom, be very careful to rabbit-proof your home. Rabbits love to chew, and dangerous electrical wires and extension cords are just at the right height for rabbits to find and munch on. If you'd rather not give your rabbit the run of the house, you can provide it with an exercise pen. Pens designed for puppies are ideal, they provide plenty of exercise space without giving your bunny the option of exploring potentially dangerous spaces. If the pen is large and tall enough, it can also substitute for a crate. Be prepared to rabbit-proof your home. If you don't have the space for a dedicated rabbit room or a large cage, giving your rabbit free reign of the living area may be your only option, and that means preparing the rest of the home. Rabbit's teeth never stop growing, so they love chewing on everything, including furniture and cables. Plastic tubing around cables will take care of that chew temptation, or taping the wires up and out of the rabbit's reach will also work. As for wood furniture or baseboards, cardboard barriers around chair legs, or chewing deterrent sprays. Make sure your rabbit has plenty of safe and chew-friendly toys as alternatives. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.